Hello there guys, it's me and Stable Voltage. Welcome to episode 13 of Civilization 6 as Kublai Khan. I've just noticed between videos uh, that we are actually losing out on coal. Uh, we're only gaining one and we are using three for power. Uh, do we have any coal of our own or do we need to trade for it? There probably isn't a lot that we can get. I found 10 results for it. That's... Um, quite far out of my territory as is that's in china uh grand columbia does have some that we could potentially steal from him uh, there's a fair bit of it around uh we've actually well we will be gaining that one because we've got a district on top of it uh same with that one actually uh and we've got that coal mine there so we are gaining yeah we are gaining three but we're just losing one extra. I don't really want to go ahead and grab any extra cities just for the sake of coal. We can probably trade with somebody like China. China probably has uh, a fair bit they'd be willing to give us. He has toys as well, actually. Uh, so would you be willing to trade coal um, for one time? Oh, that's for one coal. I don't want one coal. Give me like a decent amount of coal, please. How much coal do we want? We'll probably get some more later on. And, oh, that's a that's a lot of lot of money. Would you be willing to do a straight up trade? Would you take some or sit? No, you have max also. You have max everything. I'm just going to give you some straight money for it. In fact, do you know what? I'm not even going to bother. It's not that important now. We're not going to run out of it for a few turns. We could potentially get some more coal. I mean, I could just go and make a demand against Bolivar. And demand his coal. He wouldn't accept it. He wouldn't accept a demand for one coal. Maybe he would, actually. Let's just go and demand all of his coal. See what happens. Yep, he says no. I had grievances against him anyway, so I didn't really care. Anyway, on to the next turn. Bolt actions speak louder. And there's rif um, rifling done. So let's do refining because if we can get oil, if we can get oil, we can use oil power plants. Uh, now we can get a great merchant. Um, gain 500 gold and two envoys. I think what I'd like to do with him, though, is use him. Can we get another industry anywhere else? I don't think we have. Yeah, because we've got um, we've got dyes. Actually. Um, although we don't have three copies of dyes. Although we will have three... Co oh, he's, he's fixed he's fixed his um, loyalty issues over here. That's a shame. Because if we'd have had that, we'd have got the dyes. Maybe I will still do that, actually. Maybe I'll put you to sleep there. And uh, is he still attacking Venice? He is still attacking Venice. Um... But I don't think he's going to get anywhere. So now I'm actually quite tempted to take this city directly. So, yeah, let's start bringing a few units in, in this direction. Um, so we've got some field cannons. We will need a melee unit as well. Right, we're going to go to war again. I'm not going to take his capital because I don't want the diplomatic penalty for that. Um, so you're going to... We'll transfer you over in this direction anyway. Because we will attempt to do that. Right, what have we got going on? Yeah, there's definitely a camp up here. And they're spitting barbarians out all over the place. So you're going to get a fishery. I can get another one down there as well. Although that one will be pointless because it's one, two, three, four tiles away. Uh, one, two, three. That one is in range. Um, seven turns. We might get to complete the Eiffel Tower. Someone has claimed the hero, Arthur. 
Apparently a city-state quest is complete. We've got some housing issues going on now as well. So we need to look at that. You've still got amenity issues. Um, there's a lot of things here you could get, but I want to get the research lab. I'm going to get the arena because I'm trying to sort amenity issues out. So the merchant is going to sleep for now. And um, yeah, let's just... we can We can declare war on him. Um, because we've got a CB. Um. No grievances generated for liberating the city-state. But we can declare a war without any grievances. We'll still get grievances for taking the city, that's fine. So we are now at war with Grand Columbia again. And obviously Gandhi's not happy, but when is he ever? Um, so we can start moving in. Unfortunately, we can't see the city, so we will have to stop moving with a few units. Generally, that is fine. Yeah, we're not really going to do any damage using... Oh, just hit my microphone there. For many apologies. Um, we're not going to do much damage with those kind of units but um certainly we can i'm just watching this make sure he's not got any more units down here uh certainly we can try and do something it'd be nice if we get battleships actually it might take us a while but we'll we'll see what we can do there so let's skip that turn um we can get a fishery there that's useful so let's go ahead and do that so what tiles are we working now? Yeah, those fisheries, they've, they've got really good yields, including production. Um, and the Eiffel Tower won't take all that long either. So let's start moving in with you. I do like that Dam's Counters roads, that you can move across them. Uh, six turns on the Eiffel Tower. There's a skirmisher. This guy hasn't had the opportunity to move for a fair few turns. Yeah, look at that. The city can do quite some uh, some damage there. Had I been present at the creation, I would have. There's natural some... history done. Don't really want to change any policies there. I don't think. Um, yeah, you're definitely going to have to back up because you can't afford to take too many hits like that. I'll let him come to me. It is going to be very very difficult doing any damage to the city. Now he's got a field cannon coming towards me there. Um, Decent amount of damage. We can actually kill him with the musketman, I think. Or musketman uh, core there. Yeah, I know he had another unit down here because it was the one he was using to attack Venice, so that's fine. Uh, let's go on to. Um, well, the sanctuaries could be useful. Requires a preserve, but it can be useful. So let's go on to conservation. Um, we have discovered antiquity sites. So. One in Bolivar's territory, of course. There's one over here. Oh, there's quite a few of them in our territory. Oh, that's fine then. Okay. So we've got some antiquity sites. And yes, we know we've got problems with amenities. Uh, envoys. Envoys all day long. Well, we might as well get the full six with Auckland. Get the full bonus. Now, it would be nice if I could actually do something with these bombards, but we are probably just going, going to have to wait on those. Um... You need oil. We're still losing out on coal. I mean, I'm not going to go for a diplomatic victory, so I guess there isn't too much of a problem with taking his capital if I get that opportunity. Yeah, I think I'm just going to have to uh, wait a little bit. We can get another fishery here. So we're probably working that tile also. Yeah, so look at that. There's decent yields down on the coast there. Okay, finally we can probably go and find out where this barbarian camp is. There's another hero being built. Right, there's refining done. So, and we've siphoned gold from India. I don't think we were caught. Um, you get a promotion. What promotion can we give you? Steel tech, better, yes. Choose research. Um... What? Which? Oh, artillery. Yes, steel. 
Uh, arena. Yeah, we've still got amenity issues. Running out of coal, really. Um, let's... Oh, that was, that was a, a, a core as well. Yeah, that, if that hadn't have been a core, that would have been absolutely destroyed in, in one shot. Um, I think what we need to try and do is get some sort of uh, observation balloon so we can see a little bit closer. So I'm just going to put everything onto um, alert. What I am going to do... This might be risky. Oh, he, I can't plunder his, his trade routes. That's harsh. You're going to heal up. Yeah, so I'm going to move units together and I'm going to let him come to me. We can actually go ahead and, and make that into a, a bombard core. So that's fine. Um, yeah, the crab is too far away, so none of that other stuff is going to be useful for us. You've got one build remaining. So we could go up here and like clear the uh, clear the forest, which we probably will. Uh, what am I doing with you? You're not even at full health. Oh yeah, because you took out that um, took out that field gun that was over there. Okay, not too sure where that. Um, you want me to give you nitre and dyes? Would you give me some coal as well? Something's blocking the deal. What was he willing to give me? Yeah, he won't do it now. Um, just going to refuse that deal. I was hoping I could get some coal from him, because we're now down... We're actually breaking even... No, no, we're gaining three and consuming four, so... Well, it's not up here, if it, unless it's in this corner. Or it might be down here, I suppose, is a possibility. Um, a zoo. Have we sorted immunity problems out down here? I mean, some of them we have. Let's get the zoo so it spreads a little bit. We all want the research lab. Um, we haven't complete three more turns until the industrial zone is done. Yes, just get zoos. Uh, we're not gaining any oil yet. Friendship is expired with Shaka. We can probably get that back. And he has said yes. Uh, can we get some sort of alliance alliance? Yeah, sure. Alliances are always good. Uh, so now we have a better bombard. Uh, volcanic eruption, not mine in this particular one. Who do we want to trade with here? Are there any civilizations that we haven't already traded with? No. Um, Auckland gives us a decent amount, almost 22 gold per turn. I think that's going to be our sort of top one there. So let's go with you. It's quite a distance, but it gives us another trading post. And, yeah, let's just keep stealing money from uh, Gandhi for the time being. Kind of wish I hadn't started this war now, because it's going to take so long to do it. This would require one coal. I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway, so now we've got an ironclad. Um, so he did get all the way back. You need oil. You need to heal up. Uh, you were waiting here in case we could take this city. We might need bombers or something. It's definitely going to be tricky. Oh, wow. Who's declared? Um, Gandhi wants to buy some coal. I'm going to refuse that. Who just declared war on me? Geneva, Auckland, Brussels, Hunza, Venice... So what? Why have all these city-states just declared war on me? 
I'm very confused. Geneva, Auckland, Brussels, Hunza, Venice. Mm, no. I'm not at war with these people. Oh, no, city state. Oh, I see. I'm misreading that. Geneva has declared war on... Auckland has declared war. Brussels has declared war. Right. So this city state has declared war on me. Um, and then everybody else has declared war on him. Right, that makes sense. China down there and building an aerodrome. That can't be good, can it? Okay. Um, you're going to go ahead and clear that. Here at our sea -washed and we've got the Statue of Liberty. Stand Brilliant. So, if anything, that just means Gandhi isn't getting it. So that now gives us 10. Right, okay. We're still leading in science. 48 techs. China's only one behind us. So we've got to be careful. We can get more production over here. Uh, water park could be good. It's only two turns. We do need the amenities. Unfortunately, we'd have to replace a damn good tile to do it. And I don't think I'm prepared to do that. Let's get the research lab. You're going to move in over here. In fact, you can just stay, stay garrisoned, I suppose. Uh, it helps the city out. Um... Yeah, can't really do anything with that bombard. Um, can steal your builder, so we'll do that. Yep, yeah, you're just going to go on to alert. I'm going to skip the turn with you. Right, I guess we start having to look what's up here and then bringing this uh, cannon back. Yeah, there might be a camp there, actually. Um, amenities are still a problem. So let's get the zoo. So yeah, some diplomatic victory points. Now we've got underpowered cities. Because we are, we are literally uh, out of coal at this point. And we don't have any oil. Because, you know, the game doesn't like to ever give you oil. Uh... Yeah, ironclad. Can we move that builder? Yes, we can. Got two builds on him as well, which is quite nice. There we go. Thank you very much for the free builder. Ow, that hurts. Steel. There's steel done. We might actually lose this field cannon here to that ranger. Ouch. Uh, advanced ballistics, we get machine guns and anti-air guns. Or we could get flight because we want the observation balloons. I think we do that. Right, now then. We can get the workshop and the factory here for free. So we're going to start working on the research lab. And you're going to move there and instant factory and workshop and extra production. We can actually use him twice uh so we should have if we have a quick look at this now yep we've got a factory and a workshop so we can actually use him twice if we've got any other uh cities that have a oh you don't even have a industrial zone you do yeah most most of the others probably will do and I very rarely build one without building the factory and the workshop in there. You don't have one either. Quito might be worth getting. Um, can't really get one next to a ley line unless we want to get rid of the farm, which, to be honest, I'm quite happy to do. See, I might do that in Quito. Could be useful, actually. Yeah, that, that is probably what I will do. Uh, let's go ahead and get the lighthouse up here. So that's our ironclad. You are going to... Oh, we can't even repair because you don't have coal. That's a bit of a problem. Um, so what do, let's move you down to here because we can get, uh, get another farm somewhere else. Yeah, so I can't do anything with you. So let's just put you on alert. So yeah, coal is a big issue for us right now. Yeah, and I lost that unit. That is a shame, but... Our, I'll deal with it. So is there anyone that I can trade with potentially for coal? 
Um, you don't even have any coal. Gandhi probably doesn't like me. No, not CB. Make a deal. Um, you don't have any coal either. Uh, Shaka. Uh, establish embassy, actually. I don't know why we haven't done that already. Uh, you do have some coal. Yeah, but I suppose everyone's in the same situation now. They're all trying to use coal power plants. I can't believe we didn't get any oil at all. Fifteen results, none of it anywhere near me. Lots of oil in the sea. Lot, lots of oil that I don't have immediate access to. Yeah, it's nearly all coastal oil. Geneva's got some. So I'm actually considering maybe grabbing this down here because um, there's coal there as well. So that could potentially be a good location-ish for a city, uh, just so we can get some coal. So we might end up doing that. So we might end up putting out a settler very soon. Um, yeah, let's move you down to here. And when we can, we'll build a settler. We can send an envoy. Uh, we've lot. Oh no, we didn't. We never had an Amadol, did we? It's already up to ten on somebody else. Is it worth us trying to get one of these other one of the other ones? I mean, I guess we could start going. I might just save the envoys actually in case we lose any, because you can you can just bank them, which is not a bad idea at all. Um, you're going to go to sleep until needed. That's the end of the turn, so I'm going to end the video there. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Um, if you have enjoyed the video, please do consider leaving a like. If you didn't, then by all means consider leaving a dislike. And if you are one of those 80% of people that watch my videos who aren't subscribed, please do consider subscribing to the channel and clicking that little notification icon so you get notified when I upload a new video. But thank you all the same for watching right the way through to the end. I will see you next time. And until then, goodbye for now.